Good day and welcome to my garage. I've got one of the sector arms mounted to the face plate. Um, just I've got about one th one foul about one foul run out there. So um, the sector arm is different to the book. I've got a I've got a knob here which are going to uh, machine this arm down uh, and that should this out here should just clear the um, uh, the fraction fraction disc I don't know whether this is going to work or not if it doesn't work out then I can just chop it off uh, but I'm planning to put a, a bolt and a Delrin plug in here to act as a brake, just quarter turn as you move the sector arm, tighten it. Because I don't like the way it just sits loose on the uh, worm carrier. But anyhow, I'm going to machine it. I've started machining it on a quarter inch bolt, but that was not working out too well. Um, so I've mounted it on the face plate. So let me clear all this stuff away and I'll start whittling away at this knob. 143, 44, 145 mil. So what's that? Uh, 72 and a half. Well, I've got about another three millimeters I've got to take out of that and then face this off to the thickness of a, of a hub which is about nine and a half uh, mil I still have to measure that but let me clear this stuff out of the way all right I said the um, this step here has to be uh, right for 150 mil uh, diameter which makes that a 75 mil radius I'll just I'll just set this out to 75 mil. Oh, hang on, 75 mil. I've got to take off. This is a 10 mil bar, so it's uh, got to take off five, so it's a 70 mil radius. That's about right there. I can't see anything. I'm just reaching around precariously to do that outside edge I've just got to clean it up I have mostly I'm just finishing it up biggest thing I have to watch out for is the uh, this part that I'm machining doesn't hit the carriage down in down on the bed itself there. And I can't see. So there we go, that's cleaned up that last one. Gives me a bit of plenty of meat there for a threaded hole. That face now is uh, faced off, cleaned up. It's the other face that will be machined to take the receiving half. Um, anyhow, let's work that one out. Now, um, <coughs> now I need to do the machining uh, of the centre of these. Um, what are they called? Sector arms. Because I 
two of them, two of them have to intersect perfectly so um, they become a scissor action. So I've got to get this thing on zero. Uh, this one's causing me some problems. That's within half. Let's tighten it up again. Three quarters to there. So this hole has to come out to 32 mil. I put it, I'm putting a 16 mil drill into it to start with. We're at the 20 millimetre mark. Alright, that was a mess everywhere. I don't know where I'm at. I forgot, lost my count. 27. Thirty. Now I've got to go to 31.9695 or more to the point. It has to fit this hub. Perfect fit. So now I have to put a step in here. So the other, yep, a step in here, down. So the other half has a has a protruding receiving part. This is the receiving part. The other one can go into it. Okay, this is the, um, still on the sector round, of course, this is the first one I'm doing. Um, this is the back, so the, the back one that goes up against the traction plate. And hence why the little leg there, or a small thumb screw. Uh, this is a male type uh, fitting. And the second one will be just a straight flat annulus 
go around this male fitting. Okay. I'm only doing 10 power cuts because of the, uh, the way it's mounted, the way it's supported. How deep are we? Four and a quarter, that's eight and a half. That's the depth I want. Very good. Yep, yeah, 4.23 actually. Alright. So I'm just cleaning up the second um, sector arm. So this is the way. Hang on. No, that's the way it goes. I've mapped it out so uh, I've marked them. This side was just face off to clean this up. I'm holding this down with two bolts, three, eight, ten mil there, or an eight mil there, I should say, and a six mil there. That's why it's not across the center because I couldn't fit that across the uh, the hub. So I, I marked this off to say clean up this side and on the other side I've, I've written on there machined this side and then you'll see it's black there. They are the two edges to get 45 because these are off centre. So you need one off that side and one off to the left. So mark them up otherwise I know. I will uh, machine two alike. I've <laughs> between left and right, I do two rights and two lefts so many times. So, to, uh, so to <coughs> try and reduce that possibility, I mark it. Let's go. Taking a fair bit. It's taking a fair bit to get this off. It's already down to 9.8, 9.8, and I don't want to go less than uh, 9 because I still have to clean up the other side. I'll go another um, quarter mil, tenth hour. That's pretty good. That will do it. 
No, no, 9.5. Okay. All right. It's 36 degrees out here. It's getting too hot. This has to be uh, taken out to fit this piece. Forty one point seven eight. I'll just zero that. And we're roughly twelve point eight mil to come out. So six mil radius to start with. to be awfully close. Twelve foul. Let's set it on five. about a one two foul too much. Alright. Just deburr this. that all. But that's how it works. Oh, the play's not too bad, is it? Let's clean this face off. Oh, I've still, got, I've still got to do the recess on it. So, so this edge, yeah, okay. Just got to clean that off and then recess it. This part is considerably smaller, thinner in section here than, um, than the other. I'm getting a lot of vibration through it. A little bit at a time. I was doing 20, then I knocked it down to 15 there.
just knocking it down to 10 and see how that will go. too much longer to go. Okay, the uh, here we have the sector arms. <coughs> Haven't quite finished them yet. Um, <coughs> I had to do some changes because I I didn't make changes to the size of these sector arms. Uh, I'm talking about making changes because I had to change the design of this um, dividing head to, to accommodate the 50 to 1, <coughs> the larger 50 to 1 um, worm and wheel ratio that, um, that I had. I made some changes to the worm carrier up the top here. Where are we? Up the top, this block here, the, the worm carrier, which also carries the uh, fraction plates. But I still ended up with a 32 rather than a 28, 29 mil uh, hub on this. But what I forgot was, well, I didn't realise. Let's put it that way. Not forgot. Well, I didn't realise that the sector arms um, pivoting on that 32 mil this now had a smaller hub in the centre here to take the screw that locked the two plates together. So I've come up with a, a different method. I'm now clamping with a plate off the side here with an M4 countersunk. I tried the M4 hex drive but the head was too big. The head was too big for this this pin. Where are we? For this pin to clear the head need the pin when retracted to clear the head of that bolt so the hex drive wasn't going to work it was too thick so I'm using a countersunk which allows me to get it further in even though it's only going through a one mil plate um, the next problem not so much a problem but something to be wary of was now that I was using a plate this plate would move around so I had to lock the plate in place already had a 3 8 or 10 mil threaded hole here uh, that's the original in the, in the plans to mount mount the sector arms to the um, face plate already had a 10 mil m10 thread hole here so I thought oh, I'll put a stud in there and engage the back of this plate so the plate now won't turn. So after those little difficulties the plate stays pretty much in place if it behaves itself. I can now clear clear the indexing pin. works. Now the, I think I may have mentioned this before. The problem with this is there's nothing to retain these sector arms in position. Once you let it go, it falls. I don't know what commercial units use. I've seen a couple on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, they just seem to have a, a, a clip in there. It looks like to only 
stop it from coming off but I don't necessarily see people holding the sector arm as they do their rotation so what I've done is I've put a legger on the top here I'm going to put a, um, a threaded hole in there, an M6 little brass button and a thumb wheel and I'll just put them on the next position next position loosen that off a bit and then using the thumb wheel lock this in place so it's, that part's nearly finished just got to do that do that thread and make a, um, uh, a thumb wheel and screw and little brass button then that will be finished okay that's enough for the moment <laughs>